The input is a list of employees with employee ID, first name, last name, and report to ID. Output to show the hierarchy. Nobody report to is at the top. This is a sample input. Rob Choice employee ID is 1. His report to ID is 6, which is Joseph Grant's employee ID. While Joseph Grant has nobody to report to, he is at the top. Employees who report to Joseph are Rob, Lois, and Moise. Here is a sample output. It shows the hierarchy. Joseph Grant is at the top. Underneath are Rob, Louis, and Moises, and so on. The first question you ask yourself, or the interviewer will ask you is, what data structure you are going to use? Tree is a good data structure to reflect hierarchy problem. Once the tree is built, it is easy to output the data with the traversal of its nodes. However, we cannot build the tree while we read the data because we don't have the whole picture who are the subordinates for each employee ID. We need a temporary data structure to hold the data while we read. The data structure that's easy to add and fetch data is hash map. Therefore, the answer for the first question is we need two data structures, tree and hash map. We can divide the task into three steps. First, read the data from the input and build a hash map. Second, build a hierarchy tree with recursion. Third, print the tree with recursion. Based on the format in the input, we can define a class employee. It has ID, name, and report to ID, which is the employee ID of his or her boss. While reading the file, we store the new employee object in the hash map. For each employee object, we will define an additional variable subordinates. It is a list of links to other subordinate employee objects. It behaves as children in a tree. To get the subordinates for any employee, we will create a function with the search employee ID as input parameter. We go through all employees in the hash map, compile their report to ID with the search employee ID. If the report to ID is the same as the search ID, the associated employee is added to the subordinates list. The final subordinates list are stored as part of employee object. Now we build the tree. We know how to build the binary tree recursively. We can apply the same idea here. Next is to print tree. We use the same concept of pre-order traversal using recursing. Please note, when the node is root, the level is zero. When calling the subtree recursively, level add one each time. Here is the code. First, we define the employee class. We call it the employee node, treated as a tree node. It has four variables, employee ID, name, report to ID, and the subordinates. We have one constructor for creating the employee object. In the build hierarchy tree class, we define a hash map of the employees to hold all data from the input file. We also define a variable root as the root of the hierarchy tree. The first one is read data and create map. Inside the function, the data are read line by line and stored in the hash map. If the data doesn't have report to ID, by default, it is top level. Its report to ID is zero. The next function is get subordinates by ID. This function will be called to get subordinates for any given employee ID. The for loop loops through all items in employee hash map and compiles report to ID with the given ID. If they are the same, the employee ID will be put in the array list of the subordinates, which will be returned to the called function. Now we build the tree with recursion programming. It has one argument, local root, calling from the main function, it is tree's root, calling inside function, subordinate nodes is used as a root. Inside the function, get subordinates by ID is called to get the subordinate list of the employee. Then it calls itself recursively to create subtrees. The final function is print hierarchy tree. It has two arguments, local root and the level. Calling from the main function, the arguments are root and the level zero. The function prints the data in the current node first, then print subordinates recursively. 
in the main function, the build hierarchy object is initialized first. Then three functions will be called in sequence. Let's run the code and check the result. The output file shows the hierarchy structure as we expected. The overall time complexity is all n. n is the number of employees. The space complexity is all n. That's it for build hierarchy tree. Please leave your comments below. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.